This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Fluid Level Checks Ford Ranger Pull the hood release lever located underneath the steering wheel. Lift the hood safety latch and raise the hood upwards. Support the hood with the prop rod. Brake fluid level. The brake master cylinder fluid reservoir is located on the driver's side of the engine compartment firewall. The fluid level should be maintained between the maximum and minimum lines marked on the side of the reservoir. If the fluid level is low, wipe the top of the reservoir and cap with a clean rag to prevent contamination of the system when the cap is unscrewed. Unscrew the cap from the brake fluid reservoir. While the reservoir cap is off, check the fluid in the reservoir for contamination. If rust deposits, dirt particles, or water droplets are present, the system should be properly drained and refilled. Top up the reservoir with a specified type of new brake fluid until the fluid reaches the maximum line. After filling the reservoir to the proper level, install the cap and make sure the cap is fully seated to prevent fluid leakage and or contamination. Engine oil level. Pull the dipstick out of the tube and wipe all of the oil away from the end with a clean rag or paper towel. Insert the clean dipstick all the way back into the tube and pull it out again. Note the oil at the end of the dipstick. The level should be above the add mark and in the safe range. To add oil, unscrew the oil filler cap and pour in the correct type of oil. Use a funnel to prevent oil spills. After adding oil, wait a few minutes to allow the level to stabilize. Then pull out the dipstick and check the level again. Add more oil if required until it reaches near the upper full mark. Do not overfill the engine. Insert the dipstick and install the filler cap, tightening it by hand only. Coolant level. The coolant level must be above the cold fill line printed on the side of the reservoir. The level will vary with the temperature of the engine. When the engine is cold, the coolant level should be at or slightly above the cold fill line on the tank. Once the engine has warmed up, the coolant level in the reservoir will rise. If the level falls below the cold fill line, Allow the fluid in the tank to cool, then remove the cap from the coolant reservoir and add the correct type and mixture of coolant to bring the level slightly above the cold fill line. If it is necessary to remove the radiator cap, wait until the system has cooled completely. If any steam escapes, wait until the system has cooled further, then remove the cap. Add coolant to the radiator until it reaches the base of the filler neck. If only a small amount of coolant is required to bring the system up to the proper level, water can be used. However, repeated additions of water 
will dilute the antifreeze in water solution. Install the radiator cap securely. Drive the vehicle, then recheck the coolant level. Automatic transaxle fluid level. Immediately after driving the vehicle, park it on a level surface. Set the parking brake and let the engine idle. While the engine is idling, depress the brake pedal and move the selector lever through all the gear ranges, pausing for a couple of seconds in between, beginning and ending in park. With the engine still idling, locate the automatic transmission dipstick in the engine compartment. Pull the dipstick away from the tube. Wipe it off with a clean rag. Then push it all the way back into the tube until the cap seats. Pull the dipstick out again and note the fluid level. The fluid level should be within the operating temperature range or cross-hatched area with the transmission at normal operating temperature. If additional fluid is required, pour the specified fluid directly into the tube using a funnel. It takes about one pint to raise the level from the lower mark to the upper mark. So add the fluid a little at a time and keep checking the level until it's correct. Insert the dipstick fully into the tube. Turn off the engine. Power steering fluid level. The power steering pump fluid reservoir is located at the left corner of the engine. The reservoir has a maximum and minimum fluid level marks printed on the side. The fluid level can be seen without removing the reservoir cap. If additional fluid is required, use a clean rag to wipe off the reservoir cap and the area around the cap. This will prevent any foreign matter from entering the steering system. Unscrew the cap, then add the necessary amount of the correct type of power steering fluid to the reservoir until the level reaches the maximum mark. Install the cap, tightening it securely by hand. Windshield washer fluid level. Fluid for the windshield washer system is stored in a plastic reservoir located at the right side of the engine compartment. Flip open the cap and fill the windshield washer reservoir as necessary. Push the cap securely onto the opening when finished. 